Sheree here from Australia. Welcome back if you're returning um, and hi if you're new um, to finding my channel. Uh, thank you if you are a subscriber um, because that's that's pretty it's pretty special. We're at 200 now so um, that's really exciting. I never I never expected to get um, this many subscribers and uh, I was uh, I've been hanging on just under 200 for a while and I just I'm, I'm really thrilled that that we're we're over excuse me I have a really itchy nose it's uh it's autumn here and I get terrible hay fever at this time of year I think it was my floss tube anniversary um, in March and my nose was itchy then as well so um yeah I'm sorry um, but it just it's it drives me mad every year it's it's insane so um, the lights not great um, I'm filming late at night I've given up on trying to film during the day it's just it's not gonna happen not with three little ones. Um, this may be disjointed because I may be ducking in and out, but nothing editing can't fix. Um, oh, I've got, I've got the monitor, so I've got my eye on that. Um, I've been meaning to do best new things, but because there's such a big gap between my videos, I always forget. I always forget. So, best new thing is my mug I got today. So we've got the coffee going. It's um, nine o'clock here at night. My watch just died. I think it's nine o'clock at night. I don't know. Um, so here's my mug. Got some decaf coffee and it's got llamas on it. Oh, our packers. Oh, it won't come off. Anyway, you can't see them properly because of my sleeve. But it says, first I drink the coffee, then I do the things. And it reminds me of a particular chart. Yeah. So we've got the coffee going. It's decaf, so don't worry. Not that you would. Um, so I'm going to try and do the best new things. But uh, we'll see if I can remember. There's always, there's so many. I've got so many best new things, but we'll just go with one. Um... I'm gonna try and be I'm checking my notes um, I'm gonna try and be a bit more regular so uh, my goal is to do a video uh, at once a month so at the beginning of the new month I'm gonna try and do a video because I've realized it was my one year anniversary and I have like I don't know seven videos or eight videos or something not many so that's pretty pretty poor so I'm gonna try and do some more and um, I'm going to go for once a month and we'll see how we go because I've decided to participate in Mania. Now, I wanted to show you my Mania plans, which was kind of why I got on here a little bit earlier to do the video. But it's not going to be an all your starts Mania because just even saying doing all the starts or thinking about it makes my heart race. It gives me anxiety. So I can't. I can't do all the starts, but what I am going to do is I'm going to work on um, hopefully four of my whips for a week at a time and I'm going to try and stitch every day. So stitching every day is my mania because I don't stitch every day. There, I don't, I don't stitch every day. So stitching every day is going to be what I'm going to do and... I have brought out the whips to show you. Um, I don't have a lot of progress on anything. That is because I did a um, secret stitch, which I can't show you yet, which is uh, fully finished, which is a big deal for me. I can't show that. And I was working on Within Our Hearts, which was my own design, so I was really just focusing on that. Um, I also did um, a bunch of sewing and I've been dabbling in clay work, like polymer clay, so yeah. Um, 
and a bunch of other stuff I can't remember. So I've just been busy doing other stuff and not stitching. But I will show you my plans and then you'll get to see my whips at the same time. So let's do that. Um, so first I'm going to try and stitch on Comfort. And this is in no particular order. I don't know. I'm just going to go with whatever strikes me each week because that's how I normally roll. Um, I would plan it out, but if I plan it, it won't happen. Also, I was, I had a shower and I washed my hair and then I was like, do I just get in my PJs and not put any makeup on? Like, I don't know. I don't care if anyone else wears makeup on floss tube or if they've got their hair done or if they're in their PJs. I'm not sure why I think you guys care. I just, I, I don't know, would, would it be rude of me to be on here with my PJs? Do I, can I, can I do that? Because I think, I think I'd be more likely, maybe, sometimes to do a video if I didn't have to, like, worry about this. What do you think? Is it rude? Is it rude of me to sit on here in my PJs? Or are you guys all about that? I know a bunch of you would be fine with it, but... I don't know why I feel the need. Why do I feel the need to do it? So, this is a poor picture of what comfort is. So, maybe I'll insert a picture. But, that's what it's going to look like, except my printer was running out of ink when I was printing that. This is my floss buddy that I keep my comfort in. It's amazing. Amazing. I love all the floss buddies. I want them all. Um, so it's a heaven and earth design and I have not done any progress for ages. That is where I'm up to. It is where I was up to previously. I'm working on a different technique to not get diagonal lines because I was definitely getting some there and I'm going to film a video maybe if I can get enough done in a week and I'm happy then I'll do a um, a video maybe I can get one done in June or something a video we think mm. that's an idea so that's as far as I've gotten it's only a tiny little bit of a um, I think I'm talking really fast. Is it the coffee? Um, I've only got the tiny little bit of the corner done. So not much. She hangs out in this so much to love bag. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to be saying I'm a lot. So, yeah. So I'll do her for seven days in Mania. And hopefully I can get enough done and then I can do the diagonal stitching video on how I got rid of those lines. Um, mm. I am trying to slow down on my purchasing. I've been sort of, my husband had something to say. Which was fair enough because I have been buying so much in the last year, it's not funny. And I we don't have the resources to be able to do that. So what sorry, I'm just trying to put these somewhere safe. So what I'm going to be doing is I I did a whole bunch of purchasing. I tend to I think I anxiety shop. Does anyone else do that? Um, so I've been anxiety shopping a little bit and I have a whole heap of purchases. I've been buying all the things. So, yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, because I have a big pile of stuff that I haven't shown you guys that I've purchased because I've been buying all the things. I'm just going to show a little bit each video because I'm going to be not purchasing as much. I won't have stuff to show in further videos. So that's what I was thinking of doing. And then the videos won't be so long. 
Um, the only stuff I am still going to be purchasing for the meantime, which will be stopping in the future as well, I assume, is I'm going to stay in some floss clubs, um, colouring cotton. I am going to try and stay in just the floss club in the indefinite future. I'm in the fabric club as well at the moment, so that will be tapering off after a little while, I think. And um, I'm still going to buy some more floss buddies and sleeves because floss buddies are amazing. Um, oh, on floss buddies. So um, Michelle did a bags plus sale this morning. It was like 4 a.m. here. And um, I was awake thanks to my daughter, for most of it. But she did show a new prototype with the, the ring for the fancy floss. And Karina, when you are feeling up to it, and if you watch this, um, put me down for one of them. Because that looks fantastic and I really want to try it. I really want to test it out. So put me down for one. Um, I'll message you anyway. So I'll let you know. But... Yeah, um, no rush. Make just whenever you are feel like it, feeling up to it. So uh, I'm referring to my notes a little bit. So I was gonna do comfort. The other one I am going to do is oh, here's how I store the threads for comfort. The excess ones. So I have my floss buddy, and then I have look at that. So much to love. So I know I, I make bags myself, but sometimes when I see this sort of stuff, like this fabric with this baby, I'm not one to see someone else's design. And I like I'm this isn't I'm not being judgmental here, this is just me personally. I won't see this and then replicate it because I'm sort of like I kind of feel like that's their design. That they did I feel like if I want that I should purchase it um, not to say that if you sew or if you make or if you craft and you see something and you replicate it that there's that I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that that's just kind of how I feel so when I saw this baby bag I was like oh, I have to have it so I've got all my comfort spare floss hanging out in there because I'm stitching comfort gosh I'm all over the place aren't I I'm stitching comfort three strands over two threads, if that makes sense. Because um, I want it to be really big, so it uses a lot of, it's going to use a lot of floss. Um, the next week, or a week in Mania, I'm going to do Sesame Street. And I reckon I could finish Sesame Street, keep this one in, this is one of my bags. I have a new design of these, um, so these will be on sale um, in the next few days or week or so. This is off the Q-snap. So there's Sesame Street. He's all wrinkly. Forgive him. I think I only have done a little bit of Cookie Monster since I last showed it. But I reckon I could get a finish on Sesame Street in, um, in Mania. If I work on her, him, or assign gender for a seven day stretch. And I keep all the threads for that in this fantastic floss buddy. Which I then keep in this bag. Because happy. And it's Alice. Um, one of the ones that. So I'm going to do four whips for seven days and then I'll have three days at the end, which I can stitch on whatever I want. And what I was actually thinking was, um, oops, she's wiggling. So I have my Easter whip, which is a freebie Chatelaine, which I get out every Easter and I stitch on it for the four day long weekend. But this weekend... I had to do something else and I could only stitch on it for two days. I couldn't stitch the other two days. Um, so I only did two days worth. So I owe this one two days 
and I know it's kind of cheating because it won't be Easter anymore. But I might use two days of mania to do the extra days of that. So basically what I did, and if I find a before picture, I'll insert it here. Um, if not, then I won't. What I did was I filled in the leaves with the yellow just there and I started working on the gold there. So I really didn't get much done at all. Um, there wasn't a lot of stitching that happened on those two days. I didn't have a lot of time. I was interrupted a lot. So that's just how it is sometimes. Um, so yeah, I might give it the two days that it's owed. Those other three that are left over from Mania. So that's the plan. And Easter's hanging out for now. Till I put it away for the year. In this, I really love the ghastly fabric. And so much to love had um, quite a few ghastly designs. So I had to pick them up. Isn't that? It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, Alex is waking up. So that is my plan so far for Mania. The next Mania plan I have is ooh, <laughs> stocking. Very little has been. completed on this one but because you guys haven't seen it in ages I will show you where I'm up to before mania starts and that is where we are up to so hopefully we can get some good progress on Santa now easy PDF is playing up for me which is one of the reasons I have not been stitching on Santa. One of the reasons. There are many. Um, so, let me just move my pen. We will see how we go. Because I might be fighting with technology more than stitching. Um, and I may have to come up with another plan for Santa. If Easy PDF is no longer working for me. It may be a matter that my tablet is now just too old because that tablet was bought in 2014. But it shouldn't be. It, I don't like the fact that that happens. That bothers me. Um, so seven days on the stocking, seven days on Sesame Street, which should finish Sesame Street off. Seven days on... Um, We're back. Um, what was I saying? I was going to do stocking, comfort, and Sesame Street. And the last one was within our hearts. So I was going to do for seven days. And that is... You've only just seen that. I don't know. She's wiggling again. This is why I don't get any stitching done. Probably not much point showing it again, but I will because that's what we're here for, isn't it? So, just the border still, haven't done any extra. I will start on the words, um, on the poem. So, there is that. Um, just keeping my eye on Alex, because I don't want her to wake up the other children. And I need to, so I have a bag that I keep my Santa one in. Um, and I have made bags for my 36 inch scroll rods, but I have not made one for this 27 inch one. So... 
I need to do that too. So many things to do. Okay. Sneezing. And um, if I didn't show before, which I don't think I did, Santa hangs out in here, which is my Nani Pocket Floss Buddy Pro. Um, Karina has a new design where she puts um, big uh, pockets here. Uh, big vinyl pockets here on either side and I think she actually has like this fabric here too looks really cool um, and then you utilize this space as well so I think that's called a pro elite um, but I will link her Facebook page anyway um, with all the floss buddies and they're all there so with the prices and stuff listed it's pinned to the top I think it's called an elite. And that is that is plans. That is plans done. So um the only other thing I was going to maybe do is I was so I was gonna do like seven days of four projects, two days on Easter, and then I thought because of this mania, maybe I can do one new start. If I stitch every day and I do all my other plans I will reward myself on the last day of mania with a new start and I think this is my arc I've been bag shopping I bought all these in January all these so much love bags and then I've been buying um, Love You More Studio Co. book sleeves and I found another um, a book, another place that sells book sleeves um, and when I get them in, oh my god I don't even have words, oh my god so I think what I might do is I might start my bird I've got all the floss you can't see it there because it's flipped around but I've got all my floss and thread ready to go uh, floss and fabric I should say got soccer and glue Pimples. I'm sorry here it is so I'll start that if I do all my other plans because I'm waiting for another um, Q snap to come in because I have my 11 by 11 inch on comfort and there's so much excess fabric I don't like to move it when I don't have to um, but I bought another 11 by 11 inch Q snap so I will when that comes in I will start the chatelaine so that's plans um, what else have I been doing I took up a new craft I'm very um, very beginner at this um, I did a class uh, Tess Stitches held Alex for me which was really good thank you Tess letting me learn stuff um, I crocheted something so it's not finished but it's just cooling down into winter here in Australia and it gets pretty cold in Canberra um, not snow cold but still it's cold and this will be for Alex um, when I get it done so it's just granny squares I think they're probably pretty basic because I did a beginner class um, and I just grabbed like random wool I actually bought some really nice wool to make some stuff when I um, get a bit better at it but this wool the purple one's fine but this one's really hard to work with um, and I don't know if I've done myself sort of a mini favor because I have to now pay a lot more attention to what I'm doing so it's probably helping me learn but this splits really easily like can you see that that happens like it's really splitty I don't know if there's a better word than that I don't know what I'm doing so um, it gets caught on my hook little strands get caught on my hook 
and then I have to back it off. And I was really nervous when I was learning because I really didn't know, like, I remember Tess said to me, frogging is really easy when you realise you've made a mistake, it's, and it is. But I was sort of like, how do I get it back on the hook, right? And know where I was up to. But because this is quite a simple design, I think, um, it's actually not that hard to try and work that out from this. So, um, yeah, so hopefully I can nut away at that as well. Um, I had some really good progress initially and then I sort of put it down um, and just forget, kept forgetting it was there. And I mean, it's been, it's been pretty busy here. We've got three little kids. Um, so yeah, my arc, my arc of projects waiting to be started. This is where I'm keeping my knitting in. Again, I went bag crazy. Um, I think there's one more bag here and that's all of my so much love that I've either had already or have bought. Just have a sip. Um, so, that's all the plans. That's what's been going on. Now I have, I guess, purchases. Um... Like I said, I'm sort of staggering these. I got a set of, what should we do? Do you wanna, let's do this, to my hand. I've got a set of these Floss Buddies, cause again, Floss Buddies are life. I haven't started using it yet. This one, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen, sort of seen this. She fantabulous. Oh my gosh. Now Karina, I don't think has any more of this fabric, so I'm sorry if you have just fallen in love. Um, but this is the same. Correct me. I'm pretty sure you showed it in your video today, so I think I'm right. It's the same as what uh, Benny Stitchy has. So we're um, we're floss buddy twins, and um. I think you have Josephine in here, and there was a sale, and I put Josephine on lay-by. Along with two other charts, they didn't go crazy. Um, so that, I'll just slowly put a little bit towards them, and once I have Josephine, I will start Josephine, and then Michelle, we can twin with Josephine in here. So that's a 90 pocket, and I think Josephine's supposed to be 80 colours, so she'll fit in there. Uh, now what? Now what? Now what? Let's do... Let's do fabric, and then we'll do thread. So, Love You More Studio Co. I've also bought um, a few sleeves, book sleeves, because I really... I got my first one, um, I don't know, a couple months ago. I can't remember now. And uh, I really like them. And one of the things I love, and I'm not sure if this um, this new place um, is the same, but one of the things I love about Love Your Studio Co. is they put really fabulous lining fabric. And I am all about that. I'm all about the lining being just as fantastic as the outside. When I make when I sew my own stuff, I I like to put in um, cool fabric. Um, or something that I think coordinates well, so as opposed to being quite uh, plain. So look at that. Beautiful. I don't even know what you could call that. It smells like the soap that came with it, which I'll show you in a sec. I can rub it on my face because it's mine. Cool, pretty and pink. I think that's what it's called, pretty and pink. And they're peacocks. And they're fabulous. So I got that in the mail today, actually. Um, I was a bit nervous because, well, I was getting really nervous because they, the day after it got sent, I got a notice saying it was delivered. And I was like, it hasn't been delivered. And it certainly doesn't, it's not overnight from America. That never happens. And, um, yeah, I was, 
sort of starting to get nervous because it still said it was delivered. And they said it was it was coming, and I should have just believed them. But it arrived with I ordered like a a package of them, and then I got three more. And um, yeah, it uh, I don't know, I don't know what to say. But they all turned up together today, so that was a really cool package to get. This also turned up today, which is sort of why I had it on hand to show you. Um, uh, Crafty Kitten. Uh, this is actually November's mystery box, and then I added this piece of um, vintage petals, uh, 18 by 27 40 count. I think this is one of my favourite pieces I have ever gotten. Oh, it's not going to come out, is it? But it's folded in half. That often makes better. That's better. Isn't it beautiful? It's kind of pink. I don't know if you can see the pink coming through or whether it's being washed out. Let's um, see if that makes any difference. There we go. So beautiful. And I think I'm a sucker for fabric that's not completely dyed. Like I like to see some of the actual normal fabric show through. I think I'm a sucker for that. Vintage petals, 40 count, I need to see what will work on this. So many beautiful things will work on this. It is a lovely neutral from Crafty Kitten. Um, and this is one of my old layaways. It was purchased in November and then it was paid off and then it takes time to dye and then it takes time to... Um, and then it takes time to get here because our postal system in Australia is terrible. Um, this was the November limited edition. So I'm sorry if I show these because I show them so late. Like it's May and this is November's from last year. So that's a, that's a, a while ago. So I'm sorry if I show these and then you want them or something. That's really weird. I just lost a bobbin. Ah, so... My bobbin broke. It came off my buddy. I know which one this belongs to, so that's okay. But I will have to... Let's just put that in there. I had, a, had him clipped onto here. And he snapped off. And that's the problem with the cardboard bobbins. It's an issue. It's an issue. Oh, Bubby. She's wiggling a lot. Here we go. November. This is so sparkly. You can see the sparkle in this so much. There we go. That's kind of what it looks like. It's really dark. Really dark. There we go. I've got to hold it right against me and see. Pretty. It looks really like that opal. It just, I don't know if it's because of how it's dyed, but it just is very, very obvious. Um, so that was uh, 32 count Belfast. And I did that because I think these darker fabrics lend themselves to more things that have beadwork. That's just me, like the mirabilias and stuff. Whereas classic samplers and things like that. I don't think the opalescence or the darker fabrics always work. Um, but a deep purple I thought would. And that is why I got the 32 count because beads will not fit on 40 count if I do something beaded. Um, and then I got the, no the December mystery box which came out when I ordered the November fa uh, fabric. And I only get the small cups generally with the mystery boxes. So this is, um, I think this was Snow Queen. Um, it was kind of um, fairy tale princess themed. I would, I don't know whether that was supposed to be based off Elsa. As is, it's not, it's a bit washed out. It's not showing up quite right. It's blue. It's a really, really light blue. It's pretty. It smells good. It's really pretty. It's got like 
a slight purple to it. It's kind of showing me. And then it came with Weeks Snowflake. I'm just going to wash it out against my board. It's really very pale and pretty. It has slight pink to it. There we go. So, blue, white, pink. I don't know where I started going in slow mo. So, this is the mystery box from Crafty Kitten. Comes with a fancy cotton, fancy silk. So, this is called Pink Diamond. Very pretty. Comes with a Krennic. I will persevere with a Krennic, but I prefer Treat Treasure Braid. And some beads. So these are sort of more like just a plain, I don't know, white-ish clear bead. So that's what you get. Can you see the Krennic there? There we go. Yeah. So I like the mystery. I like the surprise. Yeah, I like to get a little surprise. So I just popped them in the Lovely More Studio Co sleeve that came today. Um, so that I could show you. And then, ooh, okay. So then let me just, I got two soaps. Which smell amazing. This one smells, they all smell like this. It smells like candy, which makes sense because it's called Birdie Bots. So, obviously, Birdie Bots, every flavor bean. Oh, my nose hurts, and it's so itchy. And the Fellowship, ah, oh, they smell great. So, I've got two soaps, and actually, what happened was I ordered another soap, Mrs. Darcy, Darcy, Mrs. Darcy. What's going on? And they were out of stock and I sort of said, they said, oh, like, do you want to pick another soap or do you want a refund or something? And I said, oh, can you um, maybe just um, pop in another sleeve and I'll give you the difference. Um, and then they sent the package um, and they put this one in there. So... And I don't, I don't think they billed me for the, the extra couple of dollars that it, I think this one, this one was on sale. I can't remember how much the difference was, but it would have been like $7 or something. And what happened was they, they said, oh yeah, like that's a great idea. You pick, tell us which one you want. And I sort of said, oh, well, I can't pick between these three. How about you surprise me? And they did. And I'm so happy with the one that they chose. I would have been happy with any of them. But this is a snuggle. It's snuggly. So soft and snuggly. And I just love the, the contrast. I love contrasting stuff. Isn't that pretty? Like that, that would be perfect for an outside sleeve. Like that's what I love. That's what I love. And I'm not sure if this other company does that, but their outside fabric is you'll see it is so fantastic but I can't help myself anyway um, and then I've got a couple of bookmarks um, it says the same come come little children the times come to play here in my garden of magic come little children take thee away into a land of enchantment so that's from Hocus Pocus I believe um, and then don't count your owls and it's got Hedwig on there before they're, they are delivered. And this is, they say they're wooden, and they are. Like you can see the wood grain there. Isn't that pretty? You can't tell as much. Like I still love the design of these two. Um, but you can't quite tell it's, like you can see the grain in it if it shines, kind of. Um, but you can really see it there. But they're, they're much thinner than I thought they'd be. And that's probably a good thing. Because you don't... They're bookmarks. And you don't want super chunky bookmarks. But I'm a bit worried I'm going to break it. But I still love them. I still love them. No regrets. 
And they sent you these little cards. Because I got two orders today. Love it. Thank you. Their attention to detail is what gets me. Like this one has that rain, is it? Yes, the metallic rainbow thread around it. And then it's got the same metallic rainbow thread on this one maybe. It's definitely red and blue, I think it is. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. And then I have this sleeve, which I have my colouring cottons in. Got a bookmark. So pretty. I actually like the large sleeves, but they're often sold out by the time I get on there because of time differences. So they're all standard size, um, but that's okay. Now, colouring cotton. I've had two orders come in of colour and cotton and I upped my um, subscription because I got the all colours one which was 10 total um, which was a mix of brights and prim and I um, assumed when I first ordered them sorry I'm so itchy I assumed that that meant they were the same as just ordering the five prims and the five brights. But then I was floss tubing and some of them seemed really different and I thought, oh, I must, I must be mistaken. And when I contacted, yes, I was mistaken. Um, there are 20 different ones each month and so now I get 20. And oh my God, are you not just dead? Be still my beating heart. Colour and cotton. This is why I will stay in colour and cotton regardless. I don't know I'm picking up the brown that well. The brown has purple in it. Um, frosted lavender. Can I do it here? Frosted lavender. Mm. Cupid. And I don't know which ones are from which months anymore because they don't say. Molasses, that's the one. There you go, there's that purple in there. So pretty. Flaxseed. Um, that's probably more true to the colour it is. And then this is Spectra. Spectra? Spectra? I'm terrible. Let's laugh at me trying to pronounce all the things again. Oh. I can't, I can't leave this club. This club. In the fabrics, I didn't, I didn't grab the fabrics. That's okay. Uh, I'll show the fabrics next time. The fabrics, I've got them earmarked for stuff. They're gorgeous. I'm going to find it difficult to leave colour and cotton fabric. But, you know, I can only stitch so much and I can only have so much fabric. And I have so much fabric. So much. So much fabric. But I'm going to stay in a little bit longer because it is too beautiful not to. Um, this must be the brights. Um, I assume that's a mix of bright and prim I had before. And then this is, must be just all brights. They just, they get more and more beautiful, don't they? Oh my god. So we've got, this is this part where I go through all the flosses. Peony. Uh, banana. Banana. Lucky. Um, Holland blue. So pretty. And then this one was caramel brownie. Oh yes. Yummy, yummy. Oh, I just... Every package I get. Every time I get them, I'm like, oh my gosh, these are the most beautiful threads in the world. And then the next packet I open, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're the most beautiful threads in the world. Never disappointing. Never. Um, so this is, I would say, a prim. 
a full prim. Aren't they beautiful? How, like Halloween. Even just um, sampler. Beautiful. Silt. This is, um, that's probably coming out right. It's kind of purpley. These are all kind of a bluey purple. Lava stone. Um, submarine. Granite. And mist. Granite and mist look quite similar. But they're showing up really similar here. But mist is much more variegated than granite. I don't think it's. Does it help if I separate them? Uh, sometimes when they're not right next to each other, it helps. Mm, I don't know if it's helping. They are different. And I have to put everything away because that's what I do. Can't, I can't be surrounded in chaos. It makes me, uh, stresses me out. Okay. And if a kid, a child wakes up and walks through the door and there's stuff everywhere, it will be all over that. And my son, he's got a good arm. He loves to throw. He's a very good thrower with balls. Also loves to throw everything else. So I probably have floss going this way and that way and this way and that way. Isn't it beautiful? I just, I don't, I don't know how to say it's beautiful. Just sometimes the names, like I would be like, oh, it's a really pretty thread, and then I read the name and I'm like. It's perfect. Na it's a perfect name for that thread, and now I just love it even more. Tartan. Isn't that just showing up properly? Look, there you go. It is, isn't it? It's just tartan. There's no better name for that color. Mint julep. Cactus. I like cactus. See, this one. This one was named. I was like, oh, yeah, they're really pretty. And then I read the names. I'm like, I love them. Clay. See. Play. Great names, this, this one. Pink Sands. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing a Hands Across the Sea in all colour and cotton. And a Hands Across the Sea all in another type of thread as well. Which I bought. A bunch of in January and I'm going to show you that as well this is the thread stage guys um, I'm pretty sure I have a couple of charts but I mainly just have like I'll do the color and cotton then I'll do the charts and then it's all just more threads so if you're only here for the stitching like actual stitching I would go but I'd love it if you hung out with me I kind of I kind of want Maybe, I'd, I'd, I'm not sure how, how to be interesting enough to you guys because I'd love to get more comments because I'd love to get more interaction because otherwise it's just me talking to the camera and I love to stroke, I like to get out the pretties and touch them but I can do that anytime and I just, I want to, I want to talk to you guys. I don't want to just talk to the camera because it's boring. There we go. So, if you've got stuff to comment, and I know I'm a terrible commenter because a lot of the time I'm watching uh, Floss Tube on the TV while I'm stitching. And I can't comment on the TV for some reason. It's even, it's hard to comment. I've, recently I've been able to comment using my phone, but I wasn't able to before. It wasn't popping up. So it was only when I was on the computer. So I was a terrible commenter. So maybe everyone's just using the computer like not on their computers which is fair enough because then you forget that's what I do bellflower but I like to I want to chat to you ash plum I want to hear all the stories and when people comment I'll then like 
click on them and go check out their channel a lot of the time. If I'm not using my, like now that I've got my phone in, yeah. Opal, that was Opal. Um, candy hearts, Ah, oh, remember those candy hearts? I loved candy hearts. They used to come out at Valentine's Day. All the kids would get them. They were great. Reef. So pretty. Lots of pink and purple. That must have been a February. Hmm? February? Candy hearts? What else was there? Yeah. Flowers. Candy hearts. That was February. Because I think the April one only just got sent. I don't know. I can't keep track of it. This one is another one of my favourites. I think I lean towards liking the prims the most, but I do like the brights as well. I can't leave. I need them all. Uh, like this was two months worth, so bear with me because I did get 20 each month. So there's 40 of them. Mars. I have to show you because they're so beautiful. Faded Devon. Look, Faded Dendam. Look, look at Spring moss. Mm. Marsh. I love marsh. It's a perfect marsh, isn't it? And then creme brulee. Mm, now I want some creme brulee. I love creme brulee. Yum. Aren't they beautiful? I think I like... I like them all. But these two next to each other. And those. Those two. I really like them. Together forever. Oh, so that's, that's a song. Oh, he sings it. Getting silly because it's getting late. Oh, I shouldn't say, I haven't been, I've been going to bed late, which is a mistake. Um, but I've been trying to do all the things, and I can only do things when the kids are asleep. So then I stay out way too late, and now I'm in a cycle. The cycle of staying up late. Normally, I used to go to bed at 8 o'clock. Not now. I need to get back into going to bed earlier. Um, maritime. Arctic. Blue Hydrangea. Mm. That's actually, there you go. So there's more, um, there's purple and blue. You just, I don't think it was picking up as much blue. As it, what is in it because it was next to the blue isn't that beautiful mm. all the plans salmon and carrot isn't carrot great so bright I like carrot I'm not sure what I'd use carrot in it would probably be something Halloween but not so necessarily Maybe I could do an Easter and then put a carrot on there. Yeah, or find one which has a carrot. We could do a bunny with an actual carrot. Or just a little garden. You could do a little garden, a little carrot sticking out, and you could use carrot. I don't know, like, I've been trying to design stuff, and I have all these beautiful colouring cottons and others, and I'm not sure... Because these are limited. I don't... Do, do they dye these again? Or because they're in the club, they're kind of limited? Because you can't design with stuff like that. Because that wouldn't be fair to people that haven't gotten those colours or have used them in something else. You need to be able to purchase them. I don't know. Does anyone know? Comment. Comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Love to hear from you. Okay. There we go. So, I have Purple Parrot. Sorry, I've got to show them up. Purple Parrot. Have I been doing that? Have we not been showing them? Egyptian. I hope I have. Oceana. I get wrapped up in floss. Lime Sorbet. And this beautiful pink. It's Imperial Red. Huh? Oh, well, it is, isn't it? It's red and pink. Called Imperial Red. I think it's more pink. That's just
interests me. Um, and that's it. That's the colour in cotton. So, so I haven't forgotten about the giveaway. Um, next video that will be ready to go. That is partway completed. I am still waiting on the chart. I just emailed them today to find out what was going on with that because I emailed that chart. I mean, I purchased that chart before I made the last video. Um, and it's, I haven't even gotten a shipping notice. So that's disappointing. Um, so I'm sorry for the delay, guys, on the giveaway. Like I said, I want to show you everything so that you know whoops, what you're entering. Um, so next video there will be the giveaway because I better have it by then. If I don't have the chart by then, I will just show, like flash a picture of it. Um, but I have some other stuff I want to include with it as well. So And I can't show you that yet. So um, I might try and do a video um, more often during Mania so I can keep you guys up to date. Um, there's lots of bums to mow now. So I might, I might try and do that and then if, um, coffee break, if that all works out then we'll do that and we'll start doing our entries for the giveaway. And I'll have it open for a while so that you can get your entries in because it's no fun if not many people enter. So this is my last bag, I think there's one other bag that I got recently and here are the charts so if you were interested in haul or charts and not thread I'm sorry I put you through that hopefully you just fast forwarded a little like zoomed and here are the charts that I got um Tash um the star cross stitcher she went to Nashville and she picked up Lindy stitches stuff I found it really hard um initially then I stopped looking after I got these to um, to find an Australian store that was going to Nashville so thank you Tash the Peacock Keeper um, this is beautiful and it's possible I will stitch it in all the call for but I may switch it out to classic colour works but it will be close to, not classic colour, it's um, colour and cotton, but it will be close to the colours, so it will be pretty similar to Charted. Um, I also managed to get this, which I desperately really, really wanted this little kit. Love the pins. I think that's just what sold me, to be honest, was the pins. Like, I love the rest of the chart, but with the pins, couldn't hold me back. And then um, Tasha also got some sticker, the sticker plates, which I love. So when I eventually finish stuff, I can use the sticker plates when we frame them. On the note of framing, Canberra, Canberrans, people in Canberra, in Australia, um, have you gone to someone like a framer, needlework framer? Hit me up, because I'd like to, like to know. And then the other thing Tash did, and thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, so much Tash, this was so generous and so thoughtful. Um, I was on Instagram and I think Emily C from Eclectic Possessions, Everything She Does Is Beautiful, started stitching this and I thought, oh my gosh, that chart, that chart is incredible. And then she linked where she bought it. And I'll have to pull that up again because they had some other stuff, but um, I want to know spending things, so maybe I should not. Um, but um, I remember there were being some cool stuff, but no, no, I'm not going to. I need to willpower. So uh, I thought that's that's such a great chart. I and I was off to buy it, and then Tash said I have that in my stash, and she was bringing these to the stitching catch up to give to me, um, and she said I'll bring it and I'll give it to you. Amazing. Thank you. Is it going to do it justice? Isn't that incredible? It is a European spot motif sampler 
from the collection of the Shelburne Museum in Shelburne, Vermont. Like, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. Look at that line. And there is just so much amazingness on this. I love everything about it. And this is going to be one of my new starts. And I was actually trying to think of um, fabric to put it on. And I don't know if it'll fit, but I thought maybe the, um, the vintage petals, that slightly pink one with the fabric showing through, would be really pretty with it. Um, I don't even know what it's... What's it charted in? Please don't say silks. My wallet can't do silks. What have we got? It's got silks. What brand? I don't know. I think it might have DMC. Just says for you count using using silk swaps. Silk. Silk numbers supplied may vary from the numbers listed above due to changing dye lots and limited availability. Never immerse silk floss in water. Did you know that? Never immerse silk floss in water. I I mean I wouldn't, but I didn't know it was a never. I didn't know it was a rule. I don't I don't think it says. I might have to do some investigation. It might, I think it must be DMC cotton that it's charted in. But the chart's also, it's really hard to read. And I'm not complaining, I'm not. It's my eyes. It's just quite small, that's all. So I'm going to have to take work and copies of it. And it'll be fine, it'll be work, it's workable. Like I just need to get my glasses out and take some working copies and it's going to be beautiful. I am not uh, looking a gift horse in the mouth because it is so fantastic. I cannot get over it, that lion. There's a snail up here. There's a lady with a baby. There's a giant rabbit. It's just, it's so good. The canary flying out of its cage. Let me try to pick up something there. I love, 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 and it will be started. I'm just gonna have to work out what I'm stitching it on and if it will fit on that fabric. Thank you. So that's all the charts, and then I really buffed this out with uh, stuff, didn't I? I ran out of stuff, and now I actually have to be stitching. To show you stuff. So, the piece de, de, I don't say the piece de resistance. Is that how you say it? Coffee break. Mm. Victorian motto. I bought. I'm stocking up on all my fancy cloths because we won't be buying anything soon. And then I'm just going to be stitching from stash. For years so um, I have Nancy um, I contacted her about joining the floss clubs and then she said to me I still have so this was in February and then she said I still have um, December and January's if you wanted them and I said oh yes please um, and then I also got two of the boxes um, and I was allowed, she, she did it so that she did all three months at once to me. Um, so I didn't have to pay like shipping over and over and over again. And then that was for February. So then we waited until now, May, and she's going to do the same thing. And then I don't know if I'll be able to do the following one. We'll see where we're at financially. Um, but I got these, this box, this box, which was extra. It wasn't part of the floss of the month. And am I going to be able to show all of them in their glory? This is Kindred um, Spirits. And they have beautiful names, again. I might not go through all the names because there's a lot here, but... 
I'll say a, com a couple of them. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Beautiful. So these ones are called like um, Dear to Me, Love One Another, Remember Me Always, Forget Me Not, Soulmates. There's a few of them. I think that one's Soulmates. Yeah. Oh, is it? No, that's Heartstring. Soulmates is the pink one next to it, the light pink. Beautiful names. And beautiful floss. Um, I liked. Is it? I think I liked Remember Me Always and Love One Another the best. Which of these two? So beautiful. And they're so big. Like, that's a big skein. In it. You get a lot of stitching in that. So one of the other hands across the sea is going to be in Victorian mono. Because I have enough of it. And oh, it will be beautiful. My storage system for these is still up in the air. Um, I don't know if I will have too many but I would really like to try out that new floss buddy for the fancy floss for them um, but I was actually sort of going to put them in book sleeves like all the red ones in here sort of thing uh, and then see how we go um, this was the primitive Frost, the Primitive Floss Club Limited Edition. Um, lay them out again for you. Again, if you're bored, you don't have to hang out for this. But I like to show the pretties. And I don't... I don't know. I like to show the pretties. Um, lay them out so you can actually see them. In no particular order. <laughs> there we go. So that was one month's worth. Uh, I think you can do six or twelve. I think. But of course I went all twelve because I'm a crazy person. Um, I really liked Highland Brown because it's a variegated brown. I also loved Chimney Sweep. It's really dark black grey it's not quite black and prim cherry I really liked a lot of these ones I think I like I said I think I like the prim like that silver grey that's really pretty too like a nice grey floss you know I don't know there's grey flosses but that's just nice yeah um yeah prim flower this one, sweet pea, sandalwood, English scone. Which scone is nice. I think these ones look really nice together. What do you think? Don't they look pretty together? Hmm. All the floss. I have all the floss now. I just, I just want to be able to. I don't have to go finding the floss, and I kind of like being able to sub floss. Not just, just because, you know, because it's fun. It's your own twist, yeah? Uh, Primary Floss Club, again, limited edition. Ugh. Well, you have to put all these away now. I've been itching to sort through them and just, like, put them all together. All the purples and all the blues. There's one that's called Sweet Peas as well. I wonder if it's the same. I don't know. Uh, there's one here called Rustic Campfire. It's kind of cool. Oops. 
they're all kind of like twined in together so I'm just like peeling them apart because they've been like hanging out together for so long so that's what I'm doing if you see any fluff in here maybe I should edit it I won't because I've been blabbering there we go so pretty such big scales aren't they this one was Where's, where's my campfire? Oh, right at the end. Rustic campfire, right there. It's kind of coming up like with a bit of a glow, isn't it? I suppose, yeah, it has a bit of a glow. It's really cool. I don't know if it glow like that when it's stitched with, but it certainly looks nice on the skein. <sighs> pretty. So pretty. I really like this one. Dark. This is it Spirit. Dark spirit. Look at that. Let's put dark spirit next to old red barn. Mm hmm. And then we'll throw in rustic campfire. Uh, purple nights. And then let's add something light. This one. Mm hmm. No. Look at that. They look cool together? I think they look cool together. Maybe we need one green. Let's put sweet pea there. Yeah. Beautiful. Wild sage. Big. I'm sure that it's subbing on a colour and hands across the sea. I've seen that colour on there so much, I reckon. I have, I have all the stitching I will ever need now. So I'm just going to start cracking on and stitching. I think one of my issues is because I can't stitch, because I've got kids and I can't be stitching, I want to be stitching so I start shopping for stitching stuff. Hmm? Is that a thing? Because I want to be stitching and I can't be stitching. So I shop. It's gonna be another long video, isn't it? Because I've got all the threads. Like, look, they're all sort of stuck together. So let's lay them out. This is another primitive. Are these all the primitives? Were they all called the same thing? They weren't. This one would have been in February because there is so much red here. It's beautiful. Oh, there is a lot of it. Which is fine, I'm happy with that. Red's pretty, I love stitching with red and pink and I love stitching with all the colours. Purples, blues, so pretty. All right, here we go. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful. Um. Cilantro. That's um we call that coriander, I think. So coriander leaves. We call that coriander in Australia. I think America is called cilantro. Chili pepper. Pretty. Lots of beautiful reds here. Hot pepper. They're very uh food based so far. Paprika. Desert sky. Golden maize. They're very foodie, these ones, aren't they? Ooh. Those foodie names. I need to love one on the end called Brick Oven. So obviously you're cooking. Cooking all of the food. Mmm. Copper Kettle. That's a nice name. Copper Kettle. I've always wanted, like, copper kitchen stuff. So expensive. Is it, is it healthier to cook in copper? Is that better or is that just an old wives tale? Or is it not better? Is it worse? I don't know. I know it's expensive. 
Doesn't, that needs to necessarily mean it's better. Ah, oh, that's right. So, then we got another box. Mm, my nose, I'm so sorry. It's driving me insane. This is the Christmas box. Um, I don't think she has this one available still. Oh, I think she still has the Kindred Stitcher one. Available. I don't think she has the Christmas one. Um, and I think she might have the next one I'm about to show too. But I don't think she still has Christmas. But you could always ask her. Because she might. This is beautiful. Victorian Christmas it's called. And how can you resist? Look at that gold. And that red. So beautiful. These reds over here. Victoria gold, burgundy ribbons, Victoria pine bow, boughs, Victorian Christmas. A lot of it's called Victorian. Victorian Christmas. Um, Victorian cranberry, cranberry red, Victorian holiday. Love some of the greens over here. Whoa. The holly and the ivy. Is that one? Antique gold. Into the Victorian gold. Love it. I need to, um, I was trying to find it in Bonnie's video. She has this board and I think she's got felt on it, but I can't remember. Like she, I think she wrapped foam board in felt maybe. I'm not sure. It was either felt or flannel. And I've been trying to find where she says, because I know she says it. And I know she said it multiple times. But do you think I can find the, the, the part in the video where where she says what it's made of. If you remember, comment below. Because I'd really like to make one and I don't know if I need to buy flannel or if I need to buy felt. And I can't find it. And I don't want to ask her because I know she's been asked before. And I don't want to be that person that keeps asking when she said it before, so I don't want to irritate her because she's she's Vonna. Um, this is the is it called the Halloween? It's not called the Halloween. Bewitching spells. This is probably my favourite box. I don't know if my favourite thread is in here, but it's certainly my favourite box. Look at that. I think this one is my favourite. This is Frog Prince. I love it. Um... Into a dragon. So beautiful. They've got such good names. Playful potion, sleeping potion, or sleep sleep potion. Something wicked. Oh. A zombie potion. I love that name. Zombie potion. And Toad Spell. I really like this colour, Toad Spell. They're beautiful. Can't wait to start stitching these. I um, I don't have uh, the Mother's Heart one by Lindy Stitches. I don't have Black Crow. And it's a Gentle Arts. And... I was thinking of just pulling a Victorian motto or a colour in cotton. I don't think I have a colour in cotton that would work, but I'm sure there's a Victorian motto. Alright, so how am I going to do this one? Because this is all three months in one, and this is just the limited editions. Um, 
And this is the last thing I have to show. So if you're here, we're probably at an hour and a half again with all the threads. Oh my gosh, look at this blue. <clears throat> so these are not prim colors. So all the others were prim colors. These are all the standard limited editions. And I might have to show it in two batches because I don't think my hands are good enough to do all of that. So let's start with this. Mm. So much pretty. Ocean Deep is the blue one I showed before. Um, we've got Garden Empress over here. Wicked Orange. It's pretty wicked. Just, what's this? Orchid? The purple one is Orchid. Or the dark purple one is Orchid. This light purple one is Tropical Orchid. Makes sense, doesn't it? Alright. And then the last batch, which is again still... You guys aren't sick of me I know I prattle on my next video should be shorter because I was I'm hoping to do another one in a week's time which will just be the progress of mania for that week and that's all it will be so that'll be quick can you imagine a 10 minute video I don't think I could do a 10 minute video let's let's not even let's not even pretend I can do a 10 minute video Mm, let's do another one. There we go. This is pink. She just pops there, doesn't she? Pink. Clementis. Uh oh. Got baby waking. <sighs> she did an hour this time. That's pretty good. I was going to try and do sewing, but there's no way that's going to happen now. It's probably like 11 o'clock or something. So if you haven't noticed, the makeup's gone. There's a child awake. It's almost midnight. Been trying to get him. Yeah, yeah, it's you. We've been trying to get him. I've been, I've been trying to get him to sleep. This husband's away. Can't work. Yeah, look at you. Come here. You come here. Mummy just needs to show one more thing. And then I'm... Um, then I'm going to keep trying to put you to sleep. Come here, you're going to show your monster truck. Look, look at the oh. camera. Ooh, here we are. Two year old awake. Oh. You dropped your monster truck, mate. Uh, yeah, I got it. There you go. You show your monster truck. Show it to the camera. Go on. Show your monster truck. Hold it up. Look. Me. Yeah, it's you. Hold your monster truck up. There you go. Here, monster truck. My mommy's going to hold this up, okay? So you're holding on. Holding on, squish it in a bit more than usual. There we go. So that's it. That's the last of them. Okay, let's go. Um, I'm now gonna try and get this little munchkin back to sleep. Yes. There's your monster truck. You hopped here. Mommy, pack up. Back to sleep. We'll see how we go. It's not really happening, is it? I had to wash my makeup off. I need to basically just pack this up and go to bed. And having it sitting out here waiting, playing on my mind. So, that's it. Um, I'll yeah, hopefully see you in a week. Um, with some Stitch Mania progress. So, anyway, that's all the threads I got. Thanks for bearing with me again. And I'll see you soon. Okay, bye.